If I'm a political novice running against two political pros like Britt and Brooks, but I have a lead and so far my messaging is working, I might want to avoid the risk of uncontrolled media events. So that's News 19 political analyst Jess Brown speaking about the person polling suggesting is suggesting is the front runner for the U.S. Senate spot that Richard Shelby is vacating, and that is Mike Durant. So far, what Durant's been known for? Not doing any public appearances and virtually no media. But tonight, he held a campaign event in Birmingham ahead of next month's primary election. News 19's Kayla Smith at that event tonight and spoke exclusively with Durant. She joins us live from Birmingham with more. Kayla. That's right. U.S. Senate candidate Mike Durant attended a meet and greet hosted by conservative group Local Alabama. He met with voters and laid out the three hallmarks of his campaign. If elected, Durant promises to prioritize a secure southern border, energy independence, and a strong military. The Alabama businessman and U.S. Army veteran emphasizes he is not a career politician, and the campaign process up to this point has included a steep learning curve. You know, I got in late because I had a company and you know I wanted to make sure that was taken care of before I committed to this and and I'm not a politician I, I didn't have the knowledge about fundraising and getting in late puts you a little bit behind the power curve so I had to put skin in the game campaign finance reports show the Durant campaign fundraising totals at 7.3 million dollars but 6.8 million of that total was loaned to the campaign by Durant himself Moving forward, Durant says he intends to travel the state, make more appearances, and meet with voters. I also asked him if he intends to debate fellow frontrunners Katie Britt and Mo Brooks. Hear what he has to say about that on News 19 at 10. Reporting live in Birmingham, Kayla Smith, News 19.